Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Welcome again to your channel. Let's break. Let's discover the cylindrical projection. Makata, transverse Makata and Nina. Cylindrical projection examples. When you place a cylinder round a globe and unravel it, you get the cylindrical projection. Strangely enough, you see cylindrical projections like the Mercator and Miller for wall maps even though it inflates the Arctic. But it makes sense why navigators and even Google Maps use the Mercator projections. It's all because of the unique properties of cylinders. You can place it in a vertical, horizontal, or oblique position. Actually, the state plane coordinate system uses all these orientations. So let's look at some of these advantages and disadvantages. But first, let's start with three examples of cylindrical projections. 1. Mercator Projection The legendary Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator created the Mercator Projection by mathematically projecting a vertically oriented cylinder tangent to the equator. Navigators use this type of map because any straight line on a Mercator map is a round line line of constant direction. However, navigators often combine this type of map with the gnomaic projection because of how straight lines are great circles showing the shortest path between points. Mercator map projections show true direction between places the best, but are not equal area or equidistant. This is the projection of choice from Google Maps for this reason, despite how the South and North Poles distort land size. Mercator map projection properties Directions along a round line are true between any two points on map. Distances are true only along the equator. Although it has a conformal property, areas of greatly distorted increasing size of poles. 2. Transverse Mercator Projection Lambert introduced the transverse Mercator in 1772. It uses a horizontally oriented cylinder tangent to a meridian. This is particularly useful for mapping large areas that are mainly north-south in extent. The whole UTM grid system uses 60 horizontally oriented cylinders second to the globe. The horizontal and vertical cylinders make up a Mercator and transverse Mercator. An oblique aspect projection uses neither. The USGS uses the transverse Mercator in their one, 20,000 to one to 150,000 quadrangle maps because they can be joined at their edges. Further to this, state playing coordinate systems use a transverse Mercator where its orientation is a northeast extent. Transverse Mercator map properties. Outside of a 15 day band, distortion increases significantly for size, distance and direction. Distances are true only along the central marine, but all distances, directions, Shapes and areas are reasonably accurate within 15 low of the central meridian. The transverse Mercator M projection is conformal with shapes being true in small areas. While the equator is a straight line, other parallels are complex curves concave toward nearest pole. 3. Miller Projection It's Miller time. The Miller Projection was developed by O. M. Miller in 1940 to using a cylinder projection developable surface tangent at the equator. The Miller map projection is very similar to Mercator, but straight lines are not rumbed lines. This means that it's not particularly useful for navigation, but more so for wall maps. Poles are distorted without the same degree of bulging in the polar regions as the Mercator projection. This is why cartographers often use zenithal projections for polar regions. However, the Miller projection increases the distortion of distances, areas, and shapes that occur at high latitudes. Miller projection map distortion. Area and shapes are still distorted, but not as extreme as the Mercator projection. The Miller projection is a compromised projection, which means that it isn't equal in area, equistant, or conformal, and doesn't sacrifice either one at extremes. Directions distortion increases further away from the equator at higher latitudes. Pseudocylindrical projections The cylindrical family of map projections typically has equally spaced meridians to horizontal latitude lines. While the pseudocylindrical such as the sinusoidal and Robinson projections have a central meridian and horizontal parallels of straight line segments but not on meridian lines. 
For example, here is a sinusoidal projection that uses a pseudocylinder. Cylindrical projection advantages and disadvantages. The globe is the only true surface where directions, distances, shapes, and areas are true. A cylindrical projection does a fairly decent job of representing the entire globe, especially when you compare with conic projections which are good for representing continents. The Mercator projection is a popular choice for navigation because of how straight lines are run lines. For the sake of playing coordinate system, a UTM grids use transverse Mercator because it's ideal for large-scale mapping when you use the correct zone. Finally, compromised projections like the Miller projection take the best of all worlds without making a perfect equal area. Conformal or equestrian map projection. Vertical and tangent cylinders minimize map distortion. Jungle.